All right, so it's a little bit of alliance on alliance action here in the super heavyweight final. Vinicius Trator in the blue gi. Felipe Andrew in the white. And they're wasting no time throwing down here. Yeah, Felipe in a nice shot. And Vinicius answers with a little bit of a throw attempt, but both back up on their feet again here on the edge of the mat. Definitely a lot of a judo stance from both of these players here, both comfortable with the exchanges in the throws and also with the shots. Difficult to get much wrestling going off in these positions with like this bent over stance, but Felipe opts to pull guard instead, coming in and definitely is gonna respect the Tractor's pressure because we know Tractor has insane guard passing ability, always driving, moving forward. So Felipe right into a very safe guard with the left foot on the bicep right foot into the lasso. It's a great way to kind of keep a passer like Vinicius at bay. Trattor is certainly well aware of it, but the lightning fast triangle of Felipe Andrew is always a threat, especially when he's playing double lasso. Yeah, absolutely. One, one of those things that's telling is, you know, you have an athlete like Felipe Andrew has incredible triangles. Everybody knows he has incredible triangles, yet he somehow keeps getting them. <laughs> and so, you know, when we see something like that, that it is a very special attack. We know it's coming. We still can't stop it. So we know he can fish it on anyone in that case. But Tractor is such a great passer, you know, definitely a big difference in height here, but still able to clear off those long lasso and spider hooks of Felipe Andrew. Every time Felipe's putting his left foot on the bicep, Tractor's able to start popping it through. And here we are again with that left foot on the bicep. Felipe does a great job of, he keeps the lasso with his right leg. And then with his left side, he goes between spider and between the opposite collar to break the posture. So two great options to either control the posture or Tractor's right arm, depending on what Tractor's throwing at him. But now, with that lasso popped out of it, this is a better position for Tractor so far. And as I say that, back into a very tight spider lasso from Felipe Andrew. Smart for Tractor to do what he's doing as far as the spider lasso comes into play. He starts to back his hips out, not bring all his weight forward. Because if he does, that's exactly what starts to happen. We get big control from Philly Banjo coming up on top, but not enough. Does get an advantage though. Beautiful attempt there from Felipe Andrew, but solid reaction also from Tractor to do what he needed to do to avoid those points being put on the board for Felipe Andrew. Right back into the spider lasso. Again, Tractor needs to be careful about bringing his weight forward because then it gives Felipe the power to start to manipulate his weight and his positioning. But if we see the, you know, the incredible base that Tractor has with his knees nice and wide, his hips very low, he's able to stay in that base and then explode forward as soon as he needs to. So it makes him such a really such a great passer. About 5.40 remaining in the match. Pace has slowed down just a little bit here, but Tractor definitely looking insistent on freeing his arms up and being able to move side to side again. Very difficult to get your passing going with that deep spider lasso in play. But Felipe Andrew potentially waiting for Tractor's frustration and he can bring his weight forward, give him that momentum we were talking about before that allowed him to get that 
almost sweep earlier that led to the advantage. Felipe looking very composed. These athletes had also very different routes to this final. Trattor only one match due to some dropouts in the division. Felipe Andrew, of course, competed in the absolute bracket. And all of his opponents were here today. So he's had much more time on the mats here in Rome. Does not seem to be fatigued in the least, though. No, he doesn't. And he also sells one more match. He's going to fight the absolute later. So definitely a busy weekend for Felipe Andrew. It is odd sometimes that can happen with dropouts in a bracket where it ends up being lopsided one or the other. Not common, but it does happen. So Chaktor pretty fresh here. Oh, big there attempt we go. from Trattor. The hips of Felipe Andrew able to just circle right back underneath. Very impressive, especially for someone of his size. Trattor looking at it once more, but Felipe Andrew pushes him away. Felipe just so excellent at regarding whenever he needs to, inverting. And pummeling his legs. For someone who is as lanky as he is, he can his legs into very tight tight spaces when needed yeah that's right usually when people have very long legs it's hard for them to bring their foot back in front of the bicep or back in front of the chest but Felipe knows how to turn his hips at exactly the right angles to fit his feet inside even someone who keeps at such a compact upper body position like Tractor does keeping his elbows tight to his body keeping his knees in close Flipping up just by one advantage here as we approach the three minute mark Another big throw by attempt, but Felipe Andrews double lasso really, really shutting that down. This could potentially be a better passing position for Tractor here, but because that right foot of Felipe is crossed underneath the neck, it's going to be difficult for Tractor to fight through. And now the lapel coming over the top of the ankle of Felipe Andrew. Really kind of building a very strong frame here with his own shin. Hard to see quite exactly what the grips are. Very pretzeled up in there. But I think the arm is still inside the lasso. Now it's been released. Two minutes left on the clock. Felipe still leading by that one advantage. And Tractor bringing a lot of pressure. I mean, he's, he's bringing the movement. He's looking to pass, but just not able to get past that lasso and the guard retention of Felipe Andrew. A few minutes now in this matchup here. Felipe really showing off the defensive aspect of his game. That may lull his opponent into a, a false sense of security, and then that's when those attacks come out in a blink of an eye. Again, we see him constantly switching between that left-handed grip on the collar and the spider, potentially looking to break the posture down, maybe shoot up one of his triangles here. Tracto will probably be looking to break off that collar grip to regain his posture, unless he wants to keep his head down and start to smash through. But again, that smashing through can feel really deceiving with a grip like what Felipe Andrew has with his right hand on the lasso. You don't want to go too far towards the head. You can get yourself swept. Big heavy pressure from Tractor, but again, dangerous to bring all your weight forward this way with the lasso intact. And now with the Almost an ex-guard position from Felipe Andrew. Back into more of a neutral guard and the we center in the middle. Great work of Felipe Andrew using the energy and momentum of Trattor to nearly reverse that into a sweep. We're going to need to uh, adjust our scoreboard here as the clock. Uh, actually 52 seconds left on the official scoreboard, not 15. Felipe Andrews starting to come up for the two points, looking for the sweep here and into a big immediate pass, sliding right through the legs of Tractor. 
It's going to be awarded three more points here, giving him a total of five points on the board with 30 seconds remaining in this finals match. Just like that, Felipe Andrew does exactly what he needs to establish a dominant lead going into just seconds left in this final. Yeah, Felipe Andrew looking very relaxed this entire match and then knowing exactly when to strike as the iron was hot. As Tractor got a little bit more desperate for advancement of position, Sleepy Andrew was able to take advantage. And with a couple seconds left here, he will be our champion. Strong work from Felipe Andrew. Captures one gold medal today. He'll be back, as we said, for the absolute final in the last match of the 2022 European Championships. Our winner and 2022 European Champion. Thank you.